like the speed of a bicycle. <laughs> Less. Probably get ready for this squall too. Great. We're currently on day three of our 500 and some odd mile passage from Costa Rica to Mexico. As expected for this time of year, the wind has been variable at best, and at times we find ourselves in conditions so glassy the ocean is like a mirror. Normally, sailing Delos keeps us well entertained, but in conditions like these, we tend to go a little stir crazy. So how do three semi-adults and a toddler stay sane out here in the middle of the Pacific Ocean? Stay tuned to find out. Breakfast is ready. Ooh, num num, thank you. Hey, can you hand me my EG1 over there? I like to sit out here, enjoy the view, hydrate, power up my body for the day. It's a good thing. And I'm happy to say that today's video is sponsored by AG1 from Athletic Greens. So just one scoop of AG1 is packed with 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food source nutrients. And best of all for me, it's super quick and easy to prepare. So since I started drinking AG1, I've noticed that my energy levels are like through the roof. 213, 214. And way more consistent during the day. Two, three. Ah! Ah! And best of all, it's like replacing nine health products all rolled into one. So it's really my way of taking care of myself. I feel like it supports my immune system and my gut with probiotics all at the same time. So just click on the link in the description below or head on over to athleticgreens.com forward slash svdelos. If you do right now, you can get a free one year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs of AG1 powder with your first purchase. Very cool. Thank you very much for watching. And now back to the show. Oh my God, there's dolphins everywhere. Whoa. So excited. Yeah, we have dolphins on the bow. We pretty much have dolphins on the bow every morning. I'm all over here too. Whee! Here they go! Just a little bit over halfway and yeah, we have zero or we have three knots of wind. Boop, boop. Motoring, we've been pretty much motoring all night. He was just chilling right next to the boat. You almost hit him. <laughs> that, no way, there's not a turtle. Another turtle. How is that even possible? There's so many dolphins again. <laughs> They're probably happy. <laughs> There you go.
so blue. Exciting development. <laughs> There's a boat, another Whoa. ship. Cetus, 8.72 miles away. Uh, cargo ship. Oh, not really moving. 0.8 knots. It's just sitting there. Hmm. Anyways, um, I also find it's interesting that to think about where we are in relation, because not only are we sailing like a lot north from Panama, but we're also sailing a lot west. And so when we started out, when we went through the Panama Canal, we were approximately the same longitude as like Georgia, South Carolina border, something like that. And right now we are, we're 90 degrees west, which means that we are south of Louisiana. And when we're done, we will be as far west <laughs> as like the California Arizona border. Whoa! <laughs> so we're basically transiting all the way from Panama to the US and all the way from South Carolina to California. <laughs> I I really didn't think about the sail in terms of like east to west. I was yeah, only thinking of like south it's a to long north. Distance. But because I mean, even driving across the US is kind of a beast. And, then and we're going. A, we're going like the speed of a bicycle. <laughs> Less, maybe the speed of a speed, a brisk walk. <laughs> Not even a jog. Sierra is definitely starting to get a bit, uh, I don't know, claustrophobic is not the right word. <laughs> She's starting to get like the itch of like, I, I feel like she really wants to like run around and do a lot of things. Um, so I decided to bust out a new toy for her and she seems to like it. Do you like your magnetize? Yeah, I feel like today's the day. She was like really wanting to run around a lot, and feeling a bit uh, bored, so. I myself are emptying some footage off the cameras onto our sand storage area network. I feel like it's really nice to do it kind of gradually so we don't have so much footage because then it just takes hours to empty them and organize everything. What's going on out here? Oh, your Yahtzee tournament. The Yahtzee battle has resumed. Oh, I'm still losing my ass. Yeah, I think since our last video update, we've only played one more game, and I won by almost 40 points, so now Ryan's down by quite close to 100 now. That's... You were so happy to do this tournament when you first won. Like, That's because like, it was... Yeah. <laughs> really proud of you. Winner, winner! That's because this first game was like, I know. Uh, All-time high score in the boat, worse. 406, and now... My last game was a 193. Yeah, um, I think that's actually the only... Oh no, you won one other game, too. It's all just for fun, right, Brian? Right. Right. <laughs> right. There's only one reason for man's face to look like this. Oh my god. Ba 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 ba! I can't believe that. She's so lucky. Isn't she lucky? Oh, Whatever. <laughs> all right. Continue on. There's still time. You can get a Yahtzee too. I won the last game, by the way. Yeah. Well done. Let's see what you got. Net. Useless. <laughs> Just useless. <laughs> oh, where the heaven do we win, Brian? So far, the wind has been so finicky. It's like we sail for an hour or two, and then we motor for a while, and then we sail again, and then we motor. So it's just been a lot of on and off. But we have a lot of fuel. We filled up right before we left, so it should be good. We can motor pretty much all the way there. Really, really hope we don't have to, but we can. If it comes to that. Hey, is that our third time putting the spinner out today? That's the third hoist today. Uh, the wind was up above 10 knots for about three minutes. We've kind of seen it all today. Like Seven knots. this morning, it was like 20 knots upwind, like dead upwind. Yeah, yeah, we've had it all. Ooh, 10 knots. Oh, look Ooh. at this go. All right. We lost the wind. Yeah, we lost the wind, so it's time to take the balloon down. <laughs> all I do is play Yahtzee. <laughs> 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 
replace the spinnaker and listen to Crime Splash with the occasional far, false fishing rod. Yeah, what a day. No, oh, you look amazing. It's just something every ordinary average sailor would do. Yeah. Sitting on the bow with a giant pole and a camera at the end of it, getting those shots. After sailing Delos in just about every condition possible, I can say with certainty that light winds and variable conditions are the biggest test of a sailor's skills and patience. Constantly hoisting and lowering sails like our spinnaker takes a lot of energy and doing it back to back multiple times can wear even the hardiest sailor down. But then when you do get a little bit of constant breeze, and you're finally able to set and properly trim the sails, it boosts your spirits like nothing else. Throw in a gorgeous sunset, and suddenly, all is right in our little floating world. Not too bad, huh? Beautiful. What a sunset. Sailing into the sunset, Kaz. <laughs> yeah. Like you're supposed to do, literally. <laughs> It doesn't get much better than this sailing either. This is, this is pretty much how good it gets. <laughs> it's been a beautiful. I didn't expect we'd be doing hardly any sailing on this passage. And we've been doing quite a bit. Yeah. I'm pretty happy. Spinnaker makes it so like kind of solid too. Like we don't roll as much. Yeah, and... well we're going fast, you know, it's stable, the keel stabilizes the boat. Yeah. Look at that sun. If this is how sailing was all the time, <laughs> everyone could be happy and live on a boat it. forever. Everyone would sail. This is literally like the most ideal, pleasant, typical situation that you can have yeah. under sail. So nice, so peaceful. Let's get 200 more miles. sitting out before. It's like all a little ocean ocean themed toys trying to do anything I can to stay awake because <laughs> we're getting very tired. much zero knots of wind um, I think it's like three knots or something and uh, it is hot because the Sun is out I feel like the boat is just like a hot box <laughs> but we're trying to keep entertained and uh, just slowly moving along I think this is our last day though we should arrive in tomorrow it hasn't been that bad of a passage though so far it's been a lot of motoring which hasn't maybe been great but I still feel like we've sailed a little bit and the weather hasn't been that hectic. I actually rather nowadays take a little bit of motoring instead of like beating into 25 knots and the boat is just getting crazy and stuff so. <laughs> it's 
funny how we had all the dolphins yesterday and I haven't seen one single turtle or a dolphin today. Three days and nine games. <laughs> We're ready for the final. We're just getting progressively worse. The final round. At least I am. Best of luck. I'm in training. To both parties. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's do this. Okay. Come on. Uh, I'll take my fours though. Da -da -da. The final results are in. Yeah. You ready for this? I'm ready. Okay, Brian, after 10 games, has 2,250 points. Okay. Solid score, so that's like a 10 game average of like 225. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Okay. And I managed to accumulate a whopping 2,573 really? points. Oh my god. Ah. You do like two full games. Yeah. So that means I'm the princess, right? Uh, best two out of three. <laughs> so what do I get for being princess? Wow. I get to push you off the boat. <laughs> <laughs> Go swimming in the ocean? Mm. No, you don't have to. Mm. Daddy's gonna go in. Mommy and Daddy are gonna go in. Okay, ready? One, two, <laughs> three. <laughs> oh, it's so warm. This is your first swim in the ocean. In the middle of the ocean. <gasps> Look at mommy's gonna jump. Okay, jump, mommy. Family swim in the ocean. How crazy is that? <laughs> Oh, don't swim too far, Sierra. <laughs> Stay close to the ladder. It's always a little bit unnerving. You never know it's down there. That's a sexy shower scene. Oh, nobody wants to see that. Nobody wants to see that. Everybody goes click, 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 nobody click, 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 that. click. On the shower scene. Our demographic is 110% male. <laughs> this is very exciting. We spotted another sailboat. They are 1.4 miles ahead, directly ahead of us. We're on an intercepting course. Uh, who do you think it is? You think we know them? I want to think that it's Caligo, but I'm very skeptic because they don't have AIS. Yeah, so I, don't I think, think it's it One Life. You think? I think it's One Life. Uh -huh. You're getting closer. This is the most exciting thing we've done all day. There's a boat. One line is Stellos, do you copy? Stellos, yeah, we copy. We just wanted to let you know that our engine just stalled, so we're idle. I know you guys are coming up behind us. I just wanted to give you a heads up. Oh, shame. We thought we were being all sassy, like coming up to say hi and be like, hey guys. But I'll have Brian stand on the side and see if we can. Can you, can you throttle down? You think it's a fuel filter? Uh-oh. Uh, so this is uh, Gary and Brooke on One Life when we first met them in San Blas. No, in 
focus. And then we kind of bumped into them over the last couple months. But yeah, we didn't expect them to see them out here because they left before us. Uh, and then they stopped in the Gulf of Fonseca for a couple days. And we just randomly saw them on radar and I didn't know which boat it was. So uh, we got close to them and then they said that their engine just died. And they're not sure exactly what the problem is. So I decided that we'll just chill for a little while just to make sure they don't need anything like spare filters or fuel or yeah, our Raycor filter and we added fuel so the tank's definitely not empty but it's still like getting a lot of suction pressure at the Raycor so I think it's probably like a blockage in the line or at the tank so do you have a primary filter on the engine itself like I, I ran into a problem before where it was with the generator though it was actually the 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 filter on the the engine itself that was causing the problems you know yeah exactly i figure worst case is i can just run the generator fuel feed line over to the engine to get us into the port yeah okay cool um yeah we're we got plenty of time so we're just we'll just chill for a bit all right cool yeah thanks for standing by and i'll get to work and we'll be standing by on six nine all right stand by. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Hello, yeah, looks like you guys are underway again. Right on. All right, guys, see you soon. Is there something on? Oh, yeah, there's something on. Look at the pole. Yeah. I think it's the mahi. Look at the color. Ooh, oh, wow. Oh, is it? Oh, no, it looks more like round body. I'm going to prepare right this time. Put gloves on. Let's get this gate down. Fiasco. Can't win them all. Uh, oh, it looked like a good fish, too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. Better luck next time. Onward to Mexico. Tacos and tequila will ease your pain of losing that fish. Yeah, that's okay. Can't win them all. final stretch of my night watch. I'm getting pretty tired. We have quite a few squalls around. None of them have hit us yet, but I think they will because of some big ones like building kind of in front of us. It's mostly the lightning that I don't really don't like when we're out here bobbing around. Yeah, it slowed us down a little bit. So we arrive in kind of like one hour after Brian wakes up at six, so around seven maybe start getting through like the channel and into the port. I think Brian has to call the port captain and stuff like that. So yeah, I should probably get ready for this squall too. Great. On our last day at sea, the conditions had changed drastically, and the squally sea state was finally powering up our sails. The only problem is now we were going way too fast, and we needed to reduce our speed and sail area so that we could safely enter the breakwater during daylight hours. Squalls for breakfast. Of course, the morning that we're like pulling into the marina, we've got six miles to go, and it's kicking up a squall blowing 20 plus knots. I don't understand it. <laughs> Gotta use this when we're trying to make miles, but here we are. Yeah, I know. This has been almost there. Yeah. Should we put in a little sail or? Uh, or. I'll just leave it for now. Land ho! Mexico, land ho, Mexico. Yeah. There's the brake wall right there. This is port control, Chiapas port control. This is sailing vessel Delos 16, over. No, we're just approaching the breakwater right now, over. Uh, I would 
love to have uh, 50 amp if you have it, otherwise uh, I have a 30 amp plug as well. Kind of an interesting vibe of like super industrial, but also very beautiful, yeah. natural kind of. And like rugged, we have random small fishing boats, trash, a lot of trash. After 500 more miles under the keel, and too many sail changes, dolphins, and Yahtzee games to count, we'd successfully moved our house from Costa Rica to Mexico. And not a moment too soon, as a hurricane was brewing where we'd just come from and heading our way. We're listening well, to uh, the story of uh, as bad as John and Oh, everybody knows about that yeah, one. Chop, chop. Yeah, snivety snip. Uh -oh. We won't spoil the ending, but yeah. It was it was reattached. It was we re just did the Google search. <laughs> <laughs> he claims it looks normal now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Liar. What are you doing here? Oh, they don't have a, a 50 amp cord, unfortunately. I don't have like a real one, so I'm kind of hacking something to just so we can run the AC so we don't die. This is not the right way to do this, by the way. Woohoo! <laughs> 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 <laughs>